Hello you lovelies, welcome to the channel, it's Rad and after about a couple of years of break I am back with another set of videos and uh, these videos are going to be for uh, the week of 8th to 14th of April just let me make sure, yeah it is uh, from 8th to uh, 14th of April 2024 and they will refer to your star signs. Uh, this reading is going to refer to your star signs, so bear that in mind. And while you can use its information uh, to your own discretion, use it as a guidance, as advice. Uh, they may not 100% reflect to your personal situations. If you do wish me to read for your personal situations, you can always go to my website, a uh, link of which you will find in the description down below. There at the very front page, you will see full list of my services and as well their pricing. And based on your budget and as well your needs, you can go for uh, whichever one suits you best. So with that said and without further ado, let's jump straight away to the videos. Aquarius. Now guys, two systems one which i'm shuffling right now that's going to show us important situation or event and of course taro is the main course which is going to show us how this situation or event is going to affect you and how it's going to develop so uh and that's important for me by the way because my rising sign is aquarius and so that's that's it right these are the three cards we have the moon the whip and the broom and the house and this is criticism right we are going to be criticized uh by a person we live with that could be criticism from our children for example towards us uh, criticism from our roommate criticism from our spouse or if you are living with your family criticism uh, that it is coming up from your family or straight away it could be a criticism why you aren't living with anyone and why you are so selfish why we are so selfish because this criticism is going to attack not what we are doing not our job Okay, not how we are handling things is going to criticize our personality. What kind of a unsufferable person we are. Okay, insufferable people we are. How can we be like this? You know, that reminds me of a situation recently. I have a niece, you know, uh, and when she was born, Kind of like we were, because I live in Bulgaria and she was born in uh, in United Kingdom and we were watching the very first pictures and I was saying to my mother, remember, um, can you imagine, I said, if she takes your beauty, because my mother was very beautiful when she was young, uh, <clears throat> and taking up your beauty and my character. And she kind of like terrified, looked at me and said, your character? Who is capable to live with you? You know, and I said, you know, thank you, mom, placing so much of a faith in me. But yeah, I mean, my mom doesn't agree with my character and that could be a thing here. She doesn't agree that I don't have a wife and, you know, I'm living by myself and whatnot. So that could be a thing for me. Uh, it could be the other versions as well, you know, having your character being criticized by the person that you are living with, if uh, if that's a, if that's a thing for you and what's going to come out of it now Taro is going to show hopefully isn't productive change I don't want to change but a lot Yeah, it's a change. I said it, and it is what I get. 
these are the three cards we do have the death the moon and the four of pentacles it's a good thing right it's a good thing i mean they did this person well it could be as well people like oh family kind of like gathering up you know on a command harping about the insufferable traits of your character of our character and uh it's going to have a super positive change. Now, kind of like my enthusiasm to do a reading vaporized because I don't want to change. But nonetheless, that will stir our emotions. It's going to, this, this harp, this, uh, it's not even a conflict, this criticism. Is going to make us feel uncertain. It's going to make us think about things that are fundamental for life, but we are negligent toward them right now. Like, for example, me having family. I don't care about having a family or a girlfriend right now, but that needs to happen if I am to have, you know, a, a, a fulfilled life. Uh... It could be about many other things now. The worst that comes to my mind, if you are a gambler, you know, it's a part of your personality and your family starts harping about it, making you feel guilt, because that is going to be the main course here, okay? Making you feel guilt unsecure about that side, that trait of your character with an attempt to leave it behind. And the point that these people are going to make it is that it serves no purpose other than holding us back. And I hate to say it, but they are going to be right about it. Okay? They're going to be right about it. And this is going to be shoved in our heads until we freaking love it. Until we freaking love it. And uh, what's going to come out of all that, it is that we're going to start taking measures in order this change it's not even a change it's more like a uh, one side of us one part of us uh, stop existing and another uh, blossoms from it like um you know instead of drowning yourself in alcohol if that's a part of your character every every evening you replace that with going into the gym it's it's about lifestyle now that I think of, and taking measures in order that, that lifestyle to hold, but not to hold up to their standards, but to hold up for us. So we can now, from this infused insecurity that it is caused by their harping, by their criticism, by their confrontation, becomes actually our foundation and becomes... Um, um, a fulcrum which we are going to set our life around and is going to make our life um, insured. So that is a week where through, again, the criticism of those that we either live with or it is a criticism about that we are not living with anyone, okay? is going to make us take measure toward that direction in a productive way in order to fill up that gap. So that is that is what uh, Aquarius have here. And it's a very brave step, right? But it is a necessary step. Now, the, ne the necessity of it, it's the moon with the death card. That's going to happen, whether we like it or not. All right. Uh, if we are not living with anyone, this is going to happen. We will going to start living with someone. Not that week. This week, it is just the start of that transformation, taking up the measures. But we cannot avoid it. And it's going to happen sooner or later. And it's going to benefit us a lot more if we start aligning, adjusting ourselves to that. It's not even a possibility to that certainty that it is coming our way. And so that is uh, that is the reading. Yeah, our, uh, our relatives, people that we deem close, are going to give us heat. They are going to put some heat on our heels 
to to make something out of uh, unnecessary or straightaway harmful uh, traits in our character and they are going to succeed they are going to make us change so with that said aquarius hopefully you do enjoy it and you like the reading guys if that is true consider subscribing for the channel liking the video and hopefully we're going to see each other next time until then bye